Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah from Running for Heroes. Sadly, like tonight we're doing two more miles. You know, I'm two fallen first responders who both lost their life in the line of duty. And our first response tonight is for fallen master police officer Tyrell Owens Riley. He worked with the Columbia Police Department in South Carolina, and his end of watch was September 24th of 2022. He lost life after suffering a fatal heart attack while participating in a physical uh, fitness uh, training for a for the department's SWAT assessment. Even though his age is not immediately available, he served seven years with the Columbia Police Department, was assigned to the Metro unit, and was a U.S. Marine Corps veteran. He leaves behind a loving family. So now I'm running with the flying flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track of my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. And I'll be joined tonight by many first responders, supporters, and my whole family joining us in a mile. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department through your heart to Mary going through, and then I'll be on my way. that are tuned in tonight. Tonight's Zachary running his first of two miles to honor two heroes recently lost in the line of duty. His first mile tonight in honor of fallen master police officer Tyrell Owens Riley. He worked with the Columbia Police Department in South Carolina. His end of watch, September 24th, 2022. Tragically lost his life after suffering a fatal heart attack while participating in the physical fitness training portion of the department's SWAT team assessment. His age was not provided, but we do know he served seven years as a member of the Columbia Police Department and was assigned to the metro region. We also know he served his country as a U.S. Marine Corps veteran and sadly leaves behind a loving family. Zechariah completing his first of seven laps tonight, which is one mile, to honor the life of fallen master police officer Tyrell Owens Riley. We always appreciate every local agency that continually comes out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zach Ryan tonight, helping to pay tribute to fallen master police officer Tyrell Owens Riley. We have patrolling behind Zach Ryan, a member of our hometown agency, the Winter Springs Police Department. Running with Zach Ryan tonight, we have a member of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection based at the Orlando International Airport. Playing bagpipes tonight, we have a member of the City of Mount Dora Police Department Honor Guard. And also running tonight, Zach Ryan's little sister, Chloe. Again, we're here to pay tribute to a seven-year veteran of the Columbia Police Department and also a U.S. Marine Corps veteran. Fallen Master Police Officer Tyrell Owens Riley, who tragically on September the 24th, 2022, lost his life after suffering a fatal heart attack while participating in the physical fitness training portion of the department's SWAT team assessment. Zechariah now completing his second of seven laps tonight to honor this fallen hero tonight. For every mile Zechariah completes, he carries a unique flag. Each flag gets sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. Tonight, Zechariah carrying the blue line flag. This flag will begin to work its way to the family of fallen master police officer Tyrell Owens Riley, along with the note that Zechariah wrote earlier in the day. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of this mission, visit running the number four heroes.org. We'll also do a follow up post a little bit later in the evening with details on how you can be a part of this mission. As Zechariah completes lap number three and starts lap number four, we're going to go silent. We're going to remain silent for the remaining four laps as the City of Mount Dora Police Department Honor Guard Pipes Band plays. We hope this run honors fallen master police officer Terrell Owens Riley well, and we extend our thoughts and our prayers to his agency, the Columbia Police Department in South Carolina, as well as the family that he left behind. We thank him for his many years of service to not only his community, but also to his country.
Zachary, any final words tonight for the family of fallen master police officer Terrell Owens Riley? To the whole family of fallen master police officer Terrell Owens Riley, everybody with the Columbia Police Department in South Carolina, along with this entire loving family, we hope all of you heal very soon through the passing of your loved one. Once again, master police officer Owens Riley served seven years with the Columbia Police Department and was also serving our country with, as a U.S. Marine Corps veteran. He lost his life due to something that's happened so often to many first responders this year and every single year, in fact, and that is a heart attack. Um, lots of people who aren't officers or first responders don't realize that it's not just the dangers of the job when you're working as a police officer and a firefighter, but as a first responder, sometimes the training can be very brutal um, without any breaks um, but it's needed for continuous uh, strength and courage from our first responders unfortunately he lost his life but I'm sure that during his seven years he saved many lives that are poss that possibly would not be here if it wasn't for him and I'm sure every single training he went to he also made sure he tried his best during um, training with his department if you are part of the family of fallen master police officer Owens Riley I'll be sending this blind flag Remember, it's Night in Your Hero's Honor very soon. Along with the handwritten note I've already written that is ready to be sent down in your hero's name. If all of you not only join us in a 21 second moment of silence, each second day, can one amazing thing he did during his life, including as a first responder in his community. And following that will also be a prayer. So if all of you now, please bow our heads and join us in this 21 seconds. Please do at this time. Dear God, unfortunately, he ran for a fallen master police officer who lost life in line of duty out of Columbia, South Carolina from a heart attack. God, heart attacks always are unexpected and out of the blue for many families and friends of these first responders who passed away. 
Because of that, God, I pray you watch over all of them through the loss they are going through, even though it's been multiple weeks since uh, his passing. God, I pray you watch over everybody with the Columbia Police Department as they continue to serve without him and let them know that he's still there by their side in spirit every single call they go to. Thank you again, God, and Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, sadly, we do have one more mile to do tonight. Um, if all of you please join us in that run, uh, it would mean a lot for that community as well. We hope all of you have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first responder working tonight. And I pray God blesses you all.